So this is evolution of a search, and today we are going to do chapter one, check your bias. So before you start, you really need to check your bias at the door. Very often, students come to this process thinking they already know what they want to say, so they're already thinking ahead to their thesis and topic sentences. You cannot do that. It defeats the purpose of doing research. The idea behind research is to learn something new, and from your new learning, you create an original idea, and then you publish it. So it's really important that you keep that in mind and that you really make a point of checking those biases. So be prepared to examine multiple perspectives. This is a matrix that was created by an organization called All Sides, which really works very hard to present news stories from both the left, well, from the left and center and right. And so they've kind of made a matrix by analyzing the content from various media publications to see where they tend to fall. That does not mean that any one article from one, so one of those sources is automatically going to fall into one of these classifications. So it's important to read each article for its own value. But this does give you a framework to work from when you're thinking, oh, I really need to look at the other side of this. Um, it gives you a go-to place to sort of check out. Um, in the annex, we have a number of additional resources that are there to help you sort of scrutinize the sources that you that you check. So I have a four-word exercise here just to sort of show you how four words out of these 33 words, if you change them, it can completely change the meaning and the bias in this paragraph. The medical professionals treating these patients are blank, caring for the patients while at the same time blank the coronavirus. They are making extremely blank determinations that no one else has blank before. So what if we change those blanks to this? Where this is a terrible thing. These people are terrible. How about if we change the words to these four words? This is pretty neutral. But here's the real article that came out in the news this morning. And you can see that this is really where we're celebrating these professionals. Looking at the language will really help you to understand what is the bias in the sources you're reading, but you also need to be very mindful of your own. And four words out of 33 can change the entire meaning of a paragraph. My topic is going to be homelessness, and I'm going to this whole series of lessons is going to be on homelessness, um, and I'm just going to sort of walk you through the research process. Um, I selected a number of photos to represent my topic. But this image selection reveals some biases about homelessness. So as we begin this process, we absolutely must relinquish our assumptions and our biases about the topic before we can embrace it with a degree of objectivity.